Hi, I'm Ted with ReallyCheapFloors.com and today we're going to talk about the differences between solid and engineered hardwood flooring. Okay, we get asked a lot from our customers, you know, what's the difference between solid and engineered flooring? Which one's best for my application? Well, it depends on your application. The, uh, you know, with, with solid, what it is, it's crafted from a solid piece of wood. They take bits and they run it through there and it, it carves out a tongue on one side and groove on the other. Very simple process to make hardwood flooring. Um, with the engineered, there's a few more steps there. They take layers of plywood, they alternate the directions, uh, they heat them, they glue them together, makes a really stable product, and then they come back and they, they do the same thing, put the tongue groove on this one. As a general rule, the big difference is we can use an engineered floor on a concrete slab or below grade. A solid, we can use it on concrete, but you don't want to. Um, if, if you're gluing this down, you're having to use a really expensive glue. What makes that glue expensive is it's a high solid glue, not a lot of water, weighs a lot more than the normal, but it, it gives a lot of resilience in the, uh, the hole that it has on the wood. So if you do get some moisture in the house due to seasonal changes, leaky faucet, whatever, when this board expands as solid wood is prone to do, that, uh, that high solid glue will expand with the wood and it won't all break loose. Now, when we're installing an engineered floor, we're not going to get the movement that we do with a solid. That's why it's engineered. When they change those directions, uh, when you add water that way, you don't get the expansion that you do in a solid. Therefore, we don't need those expensive glues with an engineered floor. You may hear different from other people, but honestly, with an engineered, especially these high quality Somerset um, floors, some of our other four, five, six ply, uh, half inch engineers, you don't need an expensive glue because you're not going to get the movement, okay? Um, if you have any other questions, please give us a call or give us an email at reallycheapfloors.com. And as always, we appreciate a like and a share.